All right. Wish I had a snack to offer so I could engage you better to bring to come this way. All right. <sighs> thanks for coming. Thanks for all your time. Thanks for all your input. Thanks for being supportive of our senior center. This has been a long haul. We're winding down. It's all good. We've done our best. I think we've done an exceptional job. The details are coming together. I've been sick with walking pneumonia for the last couple of weeks, so I'm um, on the mend. I'm not contagious at all. Um, I just checked with ticket sales at the counter, and it's only 22. Jean said we've only got 40 sales at the Sold. senior center. Sold. So it's pretty scarce. They've told me more than, you know, Charlotte told me, and so did the entertainers, that 40% of the tickets happen the week of the event. So, um, it's kind of discouraging, but anyway. No, no, they're not too high a price. When you check the, the price of all the conferences and stuff going around, the are very reasonable. Yeah. The advertising that we've done, I, I think, has been wonderful. Um, I don't know if you guys saw your um, newsletter, but the township did a great job on this. Um, just mailed out last week, centerfold. I mean, we couldn't ask for nicer um, advertising for Bad Township. I mean, this is our target audience, and we got this for nothing. And then they put it in the um, sewer bill also. And they've got it on the sign. We've got it on three local Facebook accounts. We've got, um, you know, I've, I've handed out where we've put the posters. I mean, we've got the posters all over town. Now we've got the signs, which I need to apologize for the signs because I sent them an email with our idea of what we wanted it to look like. And I said, I'm not a sign designer. I need input. And they just sent it to a third party to print. They never even gave me a proof or anything. Those signs really lack luster, and I apologize for that. And I've heard people say you can't read them. Yeah, they're just too darn small. Oh, there was no way that should have happened. And I wondered why you didn't get any input, but obviously. I, they never even asked me. They just yes, sent it. Indeed. Yeah. Where they, is it? I want to see one. The sign? Yeah. I haven't they're seen at all the I corners. There. There's one at Webster and Clark. Coming off the highway. If you come okay. off and then you turn off the highway. Well, I was just thinking that, you know, we haven't really gone out far enough. We need, I, what I was thinking is we have not gone out far enough. Um, People in DeWitt hadn't even heard about it. They didn't know. I'll, sh I'll show you. I, I could show you the maps of where we decided. I'd like what, to get that way. And Well, well what we have is one at Chandler and Clark. There's one. Um, so so here's here's my next dilemma is that the program was supposed to, the deadline was last Thursday, and we're still working on it, and we're still, there's a lot out there that has to be done, and Cindy has a much better handle on it than I do, but I will show you what we've, um, what's pending on that. But I need, more than likely, I need ASAP to get those programs out and get them out fast, so I don't want to cause a rift with them. They have to have a two-week lead time. It's going to take a lot of setup Same time. Process, so you're, you're, you're She's wait a second, wait a second. Are you talking about Kelly, Elaine's daughter? Uh, Kelly, I think that's yeah, because I've been trying to get with her, and I can't seem to get with her. We can't not get this done. We have to get it done. It is. It's. It's. It's critical. And if you know, it's. It's kind of like this. I apologize if I sound hyper and uh, too high a voice because I'm on prednisone and it's and it spikes me. But can I share it? Uh, what <laughs> what I'm what I'm saying, Dennis, is I've been with this from the very beginning. Okay, so I'm going to give you a scenario. Joy Lad's going to do the signs. Joy's going to do the signs, and then and then we want to put the signs out, and there is no signs. 
And then Joy's going to do the, the cashier the night of, and now she's going to be out of town. If I got Kelly that says she's going to do it, and now all of a sudden she doesn't do it, I'm just high and dry. I have no recourse. I have no program, and people have paid over $1,000 in sales. I can't operate like that. I have to have the programs, and I have to spend the 200 bucks to get the programs. I can't rely on a second party. If the second party said, I can get that done for you this weekend, and they're done, that's great. But if the weekend passed like it just did because she was supposed to meet with us, and she didn't show, and I don't know her number, and I don't have contact, I can't rely on that. We're too close to the deadline here. This is right up to the minute. I don't have a permit from him to do a PDF, and I never got any. Or your program. So, who, who's what? What about a PDF? You were going to send me business cards. Oh, I don't have business cards. Cindy's handling it all, and she's. I've asked her and asked her and said I'm totally available to you, and she's like, I got this. Don't worry about it. So, what I can show you is, um, what I can show you is what we've got with the program, and. I don't know what you mean by that. I think that's what she's saying. No, Cindy wants me to take care of the program. She said she went out and she sought the people, but now she wants me to collect the PDFs and me to put the program together. She said she doesn't have time for that, but she's handing it off to me at the point where now we're ready to go to print. That's what I'm saying. She was going to handle it, and now last minute she's like, no, I don't have time. you got to do it from here. So no, now I'm scurrying. Like I, I feel like I really should have had Cindy in charge of this kind of caution because she should have put all this before. But now she's never here. She never comes. She just doesn't send stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is this is what's been sold. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a uh, difficult to read, but I tried to simplify it, okay? So so if you're looking at this, all of our full page ads are in the green on the top, and all of the half pages are blue, and all the thirds are in orange. All right, we got tons of them that appears not have been paid, and I've got eight of them that I don't have any PDFs on. Okay, so there's a, thousand, a potential $1,000 um, in sales. But I don't know where the money is, or who hasn't paid. I don't know where the PDFs are, or, or. Um, Who's collecting them? I think Cindy is. I asked her if she wanted me to get hold of Jennifer to see if Jennifer had received the money, because I know at the beginning of this process, Jennifer was supposed to tell Cindy, and she wasn't. But Cindy said, "Don't worry about it against me. You know, a day or so ago, I've got." Well, she's it. coming tonight. My question is, is she, is she definitely coming tonight? Are we all done well, with this, or can we still put people on here? Well, just a second. Okay. She said, I do have extra flyers. Dennis just left with the stuff from here. I will try to get those. Do you folks, do you folks in a few? Okay. So. I meant to mention that to her, that I was going to bring the flyers on the I'm just. Okay, Dennis, in, in all respect, when Cindy gets here, she goes with what's on her mind, and I can't get a word in edgewise. So for me, it's okay that we talk about this in a quiet group, and then when she gets here, she's got the floor. It's all hers, you know. So I just wanted you guys to know where we're at with the flyer. The flyer looks really good if she can sell all those. Um, it was a 12-page ad with Elvis, and now it's um, almost 14 pages. So it's very comparable. I think we got $800 with Elvis, and with this one, it's $1,100. So. But only five people have paid. Yeah, and there's some free stuff in there, too. So. Yeah, so it is what it is. I, I'm not going to say much more about it than that. Um, this is what I wrote out for the... Um, the Penny and Valley bio page and giving them a full page. <clears throat> so if you want to critique that and let me know what your thoughts are. Okay. 
I also don't know what you guys want for a front page. I don't know if you want this real love one. Um, what is it called? The um, program. Yeah. Or if you want our flyer with the dates and everything just like we designed it. I don't know what you want on it. Okay, so this is what I this is what I put together for Cindy and us. Not that it matters a whole lot to our group, but here's all the PDFs that I've gotten. And then if I don't have a PDF, I just wrote their name. Okay, so all the full ones are in the front, and so Cindy can just go in here. She has her own idea of what order she wants them in. She can just go in here and say, this is what I want for the first page, second page, and then I can organize it based on whatever her <coughs> decisions are. So by the time that hopefully today is over with, I can know what order she wants the program in, and I can know who's paid and how long she expects for me to wait on that before we go to print. It has to be done. It can't be delayed, in my opinion. It's a thousand dollars in sales. And ASAP already said, you know, you come in here jumping up and down and wanting things right away and our program takes time, so don't do that to us. So that's what I got with the program. Well, this is Well, that was if, like, that was like if the Wayne came in with Zaytoon's restaurant business card and wanted a third right. page, and I didn't have a way of scanning it. But Cindy's sending me scans. Um, there was one on a lawyer's office that she tried to send to me, and it didn't scan. I don't know how, um, but it wasn't a PDF. It wasn't anything I could open. So I'm assuming that Cindy's got a way of doing that. I don't know. So does anyone have an opinion? I mean, this would probably program. fill the page better. And this is basically our just flyer. Just, just the size of the program. Yeah. So this is our flyer, or should we go with something that's more red, white, or, or red and black and festive? I don't know. Well, I would think on the. I think this is too big. On the front page. Of the well, program. it would be half the page. It would be this size. But on the front page of the program, you would you go with something similar to this, and not. Put all the information on there with it. I this, is, this is really enough for this program. Yeah, I agree. Use that. Okay. <coughs> it doesn't have a date. It doesn't have back middle school, but ah. it's signed. Is what you're saying? Somewhere there'll be a date, won't there? No. No. Nowhere. Okay. <coughs> I don't think it. I don't think it needs to be said on the program itself. Okay. My, my Some people opinion. that like to keep it as a souvenir like yeah. to have the date on. Uh -huh. Right. It, and the way the tickets are printed, they could uh, take that, put the ticket with the program if they wanted to. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Let me look at the date. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So. You know, I like this better in the fact that it gives their real true names. It gives the date. But don't we have that on the inside, though? But on the, um, the bio, it shows their name and date. Yeah. Or it shows their real name. That's how the bio is, and that should be on the inside. Okay. Now, what is it? Is it going to be a single picture of them and then a bio for that one? I wasn't going to do a picture. I was just going to have that verbiage in there. I don't know. It's up to you guys. That's another thing, you know. Um, if you look at these ads that we're getting, the PDF for the program, um, they're big and bright and pretty. And, um, like, here's the willows. But in Elvis, all we had was the front page and the back page. It was colored. The rest was all black and white. So I'm assuming you're going with the same thing as Elvis, all black and white. We're about 
something like that. Or do you want me to get I, I like that about? idea, including their true names right there, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, we, we jumped to something else. We're still working on the cover. Okay. No, we're looking at the... What do you think of that, something like that? Just cut the off the front bottom page part. Of the program. Yeah, okay. Cut Stop off. right here. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they'd fill today. the whole page. They'd have to elongate it, and it would distort it. So they'd probably just fill it in with gray and then center their picture in the middle of it. Is that what we're thinking? Unless there's something else we could put on there. What else would we? <coughs> how, how but I they, think you're right. How would they change that picture to start with and got from that, from what you got on a full-size page? It's formatting. It was just formatting. Yeah. But you can't elongate it, is what I'm saying. You have to keep it, you'd have to keep it about that sign, or otherwise it'll make their. Um, yeah, just center it with gray in the background. you put something like Senior Center to them, or Senior Center. As a headline? Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, they know. I, I, I don't know how to word it, but it's just the senior center and that. Really, I don't know what to put it. You know, sponsor it. Mm -hmm. Fast Senior Center Sponsored Program. Is that what we want as a headline? Well, we've called it a fundraiser all along. Mm -hmm. We've called it a fundraiser all along. Best Senior Center fundraiser. What's that? Yeah. No. Did we get the flyers? No. <coughs> that senior center fundraiser sponsoring or let's see, no, not sponsoring, featuring Alan Turner and Lori Lynn. That senior center fundraiser featuring featuring. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, and such a beautiful day to do that, too. Yeah, I don't. We were just talking about the program yeah. and what we wanted for the cover page. And I apologize because I'm on prednisone and been sick, as you know, so I'm a little bit hyper and anxious. I'm naturally that way anyway. So, oh, okay. so what we were talking about is, do we want the cover to look like this, or maybe something like this? And we were talking about a headline of sponsored by or presented by Bass Senior Center, something to that effect up here. So this could be moved down a bit and fill the page a little bit more. Or you can leave it up there. Leave it up there and then at the bottom, or presented by Bass. Not Bass Senior Center, because Senior Center is an advisory board. Define yourself as a separate entity oh, that's right. from the that's building. Right. Okay, so what did you come up with? Sponsored by. Presented by or? Presented by or sponsored by. So make that small. Or, and then make, make sure you put the Senior Services Advisory Board, not the Senior Center or the Township. Okay. The senior center is not doing this. The board. That's a good point to make. Okay. So we're not using the real loved one. All right. 
So, just before you got here, I showed this. Can um, I cover one other thing that you had mentioned before until you got here? Mm -hmm. The city was one of the people that made a comment about we can't leave those signs. I apologize because I, in my email to ASAP, I said, I'm not a sign designer. I'm going to need input on this, mm -hmm. but here's our idea. And all they did was send it out. They didn't ask for proof to be signed or anything. So I apologize that the signs are so horrible. Well, they always need proof of approval. So we should be they able to get our money back, right? You should be able to get half of it back. I so have my glasses on the car. It's going to cost all my money back on the So um, <coughs> anyway, so if you had those um, stars or those stickers that you said that would bring them to people's attention, I think that might help a little bit. Um, and I figured I will talk to ASAP after we get the program printed because I don't want to squabble about something and then not be able to get good service for that. Well, I, I'd like to switch gears on printing the program. We'll go with Kelly. I did confirm with her that she can do the printing. Okay. She's our, and we'll give us longer to sell ads to. <coughs> I don't want to, I don't want to <coughs> extend it. It's just too risky because I'm not getting responses. We have to have it. We're not even three weeks out. I don't even have the ad from the township for the senior center. Right. But we talked about it, how I could just use the one from Elvis, too. And I'm not sure what it was that Taylor was wanting that she didn't feel like she was getting from us as far as the size goes. This is what I did, Cindy, was I just put... Whatever this is is very long. Do you want my glasses? I want to your bias. I can. They wrote this. No, no I did uh, using information <coughs> that they had given to me. But they gave the information. Yeah, this is real wordy. I think it looks sounds good. Sounds yeah, you want to? You want to? No, I'll squint it. Um, I'll squint it. <laughs> this is going to help your car. So and here's what I put to. Here's what I put together. Here's the full page ad, the half page, and the third page. The total amount. The pay program's going to be about 14 pages. So what I did was I just printed out all the um, PDFs that you gave to me so that you could put them in order of what I you want. I did not know we were doing this today. Um, well, the deadline was last week on it. So I'm just trying to do what I can to help you out as a visual. Yeah. So... So how much time do you need for these programs? Because See, we're just over two weeks away. But they're pressing <coughs> to get them in right away, but with Kelly, we don't have to get them in very quickly. It's Dennis, I totally understand. I totally want Kelly to do the program. What I'm saying is I don't have any vested interest in knowing if Kelly's reliable or not, if Kelly knows how to adjust PDFs into the format she wants. It's Elaine's daughter, Hanson's daughter. Where does she work? So I'm saying the whole thing with Joy was she was going to do the signs, she was going to do the signs, and then we get there and she's not doing them. Well, I don't know Kelly's life. I don't know if she's got five kids. I don't know anything about her. So I can't say, well, let's just go with her because she said she can. Where does she work? Does that mean something? Kelly does? Kelly, where she works, like her job is, she works, she runs the office of the veterinary clinic, but she does these all the time. She's, uh, they're high up in story. They do have an option. She does well, where does she get the printer? For a lot of different, she has the printer at home, and she does them for a lot of other events. But I, she, don't, I don't have time right now to go through and lay these out. And this is. You can take them with you. It's fine. Okay. I'm not putting you in Yeah, I'm just saying, nice. and this is not accurate. Um, it's just based off from your emails and our conversation. Right, do you right. have a better feel for it than I absolutely do? Right. It was just to show the committee where you're at with things to communicate with them. I could have brought what I put actually. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. As far as you have more than these I people. I haven't had a chance to look at. It. I have no idea what's on here. So. <coughs> um. So your time is more precious than anybody else. So with you here,
here, how do you want to go forward with Braxton reading? I didn't realize this is what this meeting was. I thought this was what the meeting was. I must be I missed something along the way. This is our regular two-week meeting, and then we extended it for an hour in order to do silent auction. So it's up to you, because you're the one, like I said, yeah, with the time um, constraints, and you want to maximize your space here. As it says here, the problem I have is we already spent way too much money on advertising. But that was Especially the um considering what you just said about how much the way we're sounding <coughs> right now, we're gonna be lucky to even break even. Um because we haven't sold many tickets, but yet we're spending all this money. The only way to sell tickets is to put advertising out there. That's what Oh, prove that isn't totally out. We out. Didn't do a whole lot of advertising with All right. We had a good turnout. We Somehow, how did we advertise for that? Somehow, we got it. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Facebook. Word of mouth, and, and we had five or six signs out to the businesses and stuff like that. Um, well, we sent and out. We did have some flyers for that one too. At that time, so Cindy Piccolo was allowed to work with the group, and she sold a lot of tickets at the senior center, and you guys have been doing that. But we've only um, sold 40. But yeah. Cindy Piccolo did a lot of sewing work. Yeah. And for some reason, I, they're not allowing, what's her name over here, to, to help us. I don't know. Okay. Well, I want to put posters out. I want to put signs out over in the DeWitt area. Because those people knew nothing about it. Okay. So, <clears throat> for the folks who have not received my emails, um, I'm getting a lot of kickback from local businesses that are completely fed up with the township. Well, then why don't we go on fire the township? We did. That's what I was going to say. Um, I like literally not wanting to run ads, not wanting to do anything. You know, with a 5% tax increase that we just got, especially on commercial businesses, your, your home is taxed at 30% less than these businesses are taxed. Um, the smaller business owners... Some are, are generous, others are just like, you know, I've had my fill of the political environment up there, the way the money is handled. We pay, pay ample taxes if they want to expand the building or they want to fund services. And by the way, what services do you offer? And I'm getting a lot of kickback. I've spent <coughs> probably a total of eight hours doing nothing but talking to local business owners, listening to them complain about the township and then walk away with nothing from them. I'm guessing you must have approached Dale Hosford. No. You did not? No, I didn't. I don't approach Dale for anything. Oh. Zero. Any reason? Should I approach him or not? You can approach him if you'd like to. My reasoning for not approaching him would have no effect on you. Okay. I, I prefer my friends alive <laughs> instead of buried. That work, you him, that work for him. Are we friends? <laughs> no. We're not friends at all. No, she's not talking about you two. She's talking about Stephen Firefall. Yeah, you can reach out to him if you want. Okay. He has no money that I can reach out to Um. So anyway, back to what I was saying. And then I ran across a few businesses, like the dentist up here, who gave us the, the free dental exhibit and stuff. They don't want any more business. Um, Did you bring it up so we could put it together? Yes. DSNA software do not want to advertise um, to the general public, so they gave us the $300 to go spend as needed, um, gift card, you know, whatever um, needs to be bought at that point. Um, Is that on here somewhere? No. No, that's program information only because they're not advertising. DSNA is They do not want advertising because people get confused and think that we as individuals should call their office when we have a question about a property report, when in fact, if we're looking for a property report, we should be contacting the township or the county. So they don't want their contact information out there, but they, they gave us a $300 <coughs> check. Um, two or three local construction companies. But shouldn't that be on here? I didn't do no, that. No, they're not advertising. This no, is only for advertising. So where do we put the $300? 
the bank. It's it's in the township in the bank. Donation. Donation. Just a donation. To be spent oh. on um, gift cards, basically. And like I told Dennis earlier to share that if there's a basket you're putting together that you need an item or two for to top it off, let me know. Um, Jenna has to buy the gift cards, and she could buy those. I could go pick it out at Dollar General, set it aside. She can come in and pick up gift cards, pick up the items we need to top off the basket, um, and then go from there. But that's what that 300 is for. She basically told me to spend it however we think works best. And then she said also, you know, keep in mind, gift cards are free coming to you, so then you make more money with the gift cards you know, by doubling your money. Um, a couple of local businesses do not want to run ads um, because they do not want any more business. A couple of them have literally pulled their signs down, taken the names off their trucks because they're just too busy and they can't get any more staff. A few of them I'm going to follow up with on just a cash donation. Um, spoke with most of them early last week, so it's probably take time to follow up with them to see if I can actually get cash out of them or a check. But they do but not you, want ads. Why are you You got the Legion to cut a check. Oh, I did. Yes. They did cut a check. Yes, Wonderful. They did, yeah. Sweet. Um, yes. they, when I mailed to them, apparently Leo didn't take it seriously or whatever or didn't get it. So, um, and I told him one time that we were going to be following up. And he said, oh, okay. And it went in and out the other. But your flyer actually got through his desk and he called me immediately. She's like, I remember this. You have to link it. So, yeah, there Good. were ads in here. They took a full page. Good. So that, that did come in, too. Um, yeah, I can take this home and take a look at it, but this is, yeah, this is not what my record shows up. And I don't have Excel, so I can't work with this. I just sent it as a PDF, Cindy. It's just informational. That was all. Right, I'm, I'm it was just saying, to organize I have, that. I do have a printout of where, That's fine. where we're at with stuff. <laughs> I'm confident that you've got it figured out. Yeah, I was I just trying to communicate to the committee where I knew. Um, are we going to decide where we're going to have the printer done? I want to go with, with Kelly. I think ASAP has shown their true colors by the signs that we received. I think that part of that happened because the signs were take, taken third party because I got re excellent service for the tickets and the flyers. But, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter to me. What bothers me is that if I go beyond this Friday for not having the programs done, then I can't have ASAP do it. Then I'm totally schnucked because they need two weeks lead time. And that's without any of us reviewing anything. That's just saying, here's a bunch of PDFs, organize it, and make it happen. Are we going to see this program before it's printed or no? Mm -hmm. I would have thought that that would have been the plan. And... That's part of why we had the deadline of last week. So we had a week to review it before we sent it to the printer. But now I don't know what the plan is with Kelly. I don't know her schedule. I don't know. Did you speak to her? No, I don't, have, her? I don't have any contact did you, information. Did you communicate to Elaine with, to her? They said something about you wanting to meet with her. We were supposed to try to meet last Saturday, the three yeah, of not us. Not to me, but outside of no, I thought you were going to get a hold of Kelly to see if she was oh, available or not. Okay. I thought you had gotten a hold of her because Elaine said that you had wanted to meet with her on Tuesday, this week. But I don't know. Uh, Tuesday is this meeting right now. Yeah, Tuesday is. Well, who can find out? When I've she spoke can have with the her. I've ready. spoke with her and she can have them. She, I well, asked she have it ready so that we can print it. You want this board to print it? Well, what would you mind? Then, I don't know. I'd have to just tell a special meeting probably. Um, but what I, now, what, okay, here's my question. <laughs> can we just assign, I mean, uh, Cindy can do the paper? And she so didn't. We don't have to all meet and do it? She didn't want. She didn't want the job. She gave me the PDFs to organize because she said she didn't have the time. No, I said and because that's why I, don't I have was a getting good, a, I don't have an easy time communicating with ASAP, and you seem to be able to get to. Oh, so if you want the person. job, it's yours. It's <laughs> totally yours. Yeah, I, I'm just saying um, it would be nice to see the program. 
It doesn't have to include everyone. I don't have to be here for you guys to include it or to approve it. Yeah, um, it doesn't matter to me because all it is is a bunch of PDFs. The bio is the only thing that's personal, and the cover page is the only thing that is, you know, needs to represent the board and what you want it to look like. The rest are just people's advertisements in there, and they're so going to be. So there's not going to be a page that says at seven o'clock, Tony Rogers is going to sing or whatever, and then there's going to be an intermission, and then a schedule. Yeah, no, we tried to get a playlist, and they said they don't offer not playlists. A playlist. um, what time it starts, what time the break is, that kind of what stuff. Time, what time the intermission is? Yeah. Well, yeah. No, well, do you know what time they start playing? Well, the if we went with just putting the flyer on the cover of the program, it st it says seven o'clock. Is that when they start? The, 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 the auction's at 5 30 okay. and then it so, starts at 7. So then we find out. Mission. Yeah. So basically. And, and Guy. I would, have, I would have had this before, but I don't know. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, Guy Elsenheimer is going to announce that there's going to be an intermission, a 15 or 20 minute intermission, whatever it was decided. And they're going to. So right now there's not a page with. So it'll be the schedule? With the agenda. Is, is what I'm looking at. Um, door lock at five thirty, silent auction, and um, what do you want to call this now? So guy is going to announce that uh, this is the last like chance to bid on the auction. Yeah. 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 He's already been written up, and, and it's already been given, and and already been given to him. Judy um, gave it to him at our meeting when he came. Okay. I think you were there. I'm not sure. I was there. So <laughs> and I'm just going to put intermission. So how long do they play? Seems like, oh, seems like it's longer than that. I don't know what their schedule is. I thought it was going to go until 9. Minutes apiece. So okay. another one, hour and a half. They're not. Well, it's the intermission. I thought it was going to go up to two hours. Yeah, I, I believe well, it's going to be around a two-hour two program, but, but there's nothing in stone. I mean, you don't go to a, a concert and say it's going to end at a certain time. You just know when they're doing their last song. Yeah. It's and more about the start the time than the end well, time. Well, Rogers is going to sing first, or Alan Turner is going to and there's going to be an intermission. No, I don't know when the intermission is coming. It's going to be in. Find out because I closed the silent auction after intermission. Right. We don't need an exact time. No, we so don't need a time. So what I'm looking at here is doors open at 5 30, silent auction and refreshment. Concert starts at 7. You know, I have intermission, silent auction, final refreshment. Final bid. 9 o'clock. Yeah, then I have. Silent auction closes. Closes. And then with intermission or whatever. Um. When we were at the show in December, mm -hmm. how long was the intermission? Like 10 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, but long we enough wanted to go to the restroom. We them longer than 10 minutes. They know we you have to have it 20. I think we asked for 20. I think we asked for 20. So basically, I have uh, the intermission, no time. Because you can't predict that silent, um, silent auction, bidding, refreshments, well, and then I'm going to do silent well, auction. Hopefully they'll do a duo also. Well, so the, I'm assuming the duets are going to be at the very end, but that's just an assumption, I don't know. But they're going to do solo stuff and then they're going to do duet stuff. But I don't know what the order they're going to do. And we don't need to know, right? I don't think we need to know. We don't, don't need to know at that time. We can just go and relax. <laughs> well, what happens? Do our best. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then pick up your silent auction, which will be we know we'll pick it up and take it at the end. Yeah. Are we going to give them a little thing when they sign up for a number? Are we going to give them a little thing that says just a reminder you have to pick up your stuff on the right hour? Um, Hopefully they don't forget if they've paid. Well, they pay and pick up at the same time. They pay and pick up at the same time, but last last time we had several people that did not do that. We had people that left early, and so like five or six. To, you know, so we had to throw the stuff over at the TV center, and they had to come in and pick it up and pay for it. Oh, wow. It was a, yeah, it Some people left good. early, you know, for whatever reason, and like, some stuff was there, but they, we got, everything got picked up. 
it wasn't that much. Well, I was, I was thinking in terms of the people who don't realize how the sidewalk works. Well, and so what we did was we pulled the <coughs> we pulled the um, big sheet, and, and if for some reason the first per the person who won was to not claim that we would go to the next person to see if it was good enough. Oh, okay. But we did not have to do that. Oh, okay. Well, you need to tell them we're going to do that. We're still going to do that, right? If you're not here, if you're not present. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say if they're not present. What I said was a few people didn't pick up, so we took the stuff oh, to the senior center, and, then after. and we called them and told them. And, um, you have until Friday. And if they we, didn't do it by Friday, then you we would the next have, person. We would have gone right. to the next person, but everything got taken care of. Okay. Okay. Um, Kelly has a formatting program, too. So, I don't know, if you want to go with ASAP, we can get this stuff to you Friday and call it good, and if not, um, if What's we, the difference in the cost? Well, that's what I was going to ask. What is the cost of ASAP? Um, I think it was around $200 for 300 programs. And that was another thing that I thought we should talk about was, um, you know, Obviously, we're not selling the tickets, and, you know, we're hoping to really push hard the last two weeks, but are you still wanting to go with 300 for, programs? $200 for 314 just, just a second. I don't know, Dennis. I have to find my notes, please. Thanks. <clears throat> I believe it's right here. I sent it out to you guys. It's $211 for a 300 program. That was Elvis, that was 12 pages, and we've got 14. But seven sheets, so. So, so here's. Six pages. <coughs> I can't even do that. Yeah, by 12, I'm, I'm in trouble. And on that same note, here's the, um, the Duke um, contract. And well, I'm just saying, it shows that it's $1,400 in value, and it's actually only going to cost us $350, and it's going to tell how many times they're going to advertise. This is what they suggested, but um, CB has revamped it. This is what... Um, they initially said that they revamped it. We figured this is a really good investment because <coughs> it is Duke. And <coughs> he's trying to say that he can definitely sell us 300 tickets by having this ad running. When's this ad start? It starts two weeks before the event. Next week. All right. And then what I've done is printed out some senior center, um, not senior centers, uh, assisted living um, businesses, and I started making some phone calls this morning, and um, Brickford, I think, and um, the Marquette said that we can come by and do a little presentation and, and set up a table at, at lunchtime and sell tickets there if we want. Now, why are they saying that it's just $25 at the door and they're all saying it's $20? We, we had them change that. And we had them change a couple other things, too. But I haven't gotten the revised radio, so I only have that to offer you guys. That's the start of um, what he was going to have. But like I said, we've changed. Yes. And I also had her change that it says for the expansion, because we don't know if there's going to be an expansion. And the way it's worded, it says there's going to be an expansion. So there was a few things that we had changed, but overall, that's what it looks like. Do those facilities, we've got two topics going here, but those facilities that you're contacting, do they have transportation for people? Can they take a bus load? If they yeah, have? that's the ones I was calling first. Contacting facilities that have buses. That's what I was asking. 
I was so, I called I was calling some <coughs> other ones too, but um, so will you have a contact person there? So when you, if you're not there, that would be willing to step up and say, "Oh yeah, here's how you get a hold of them." And we do have the bus and this more more than just somebody sitting selling tickets. Somebody that's actually going to organize it from their facility as an outing. Oh, you mean like I'm talking to the activities director at these facilities? Right. And yes. Make sure that they're on board. I mean, yes. They, they have to transport people. Yes. They have to be well, able to they people. the market. They, a lot of them drive. They have car. A lot of them have cars. Yeah. Not not that they have cars. Some of them do have cars, and they do. They go golfing and they go to movies. Yeah. Like that. I, that's who I'm talking to. Is the activities director so, at okay. this so facility? So are they going to take it on and <coughs> make sure that? <coughs> I, I don't know. I'm just getting started with it. I just emailed some people this morning and talked to some people this morning. Okay. I haven't finished figuring out the details. I just sent them emails, and we're going to correspond and set up a date when we can go to their facility and um, try to sell the tickets. Okay. So I, that's what I'm saying is that's a suggestion to make sure that there's somebody on site, not just the person selling tickets, but somebody there who's going to help organize it. So you don't have to check that. that. Yeah, make sure the activity director is right, that's who I aware of what's going on and, is, and is willing to help. Because a lot of times somebody says, yeah, come on in and sell tickets, but nobody's taking it on <coughs> as far as organizing it within their place. And that's kind of vital for anything we do with any of these groups, anything we've done in the past with that. Thanks for the advice. <coughs> this is the magazine article that came out this month. Dennis, I just passed out that um, City of East Lansing magazine. Oh, okay. That article that might prompt some ticket sales too. Mm -hmm. um, here's <coughs> the list that I put together of some of the. Personally, sell tickets. Are we going to, so the business part is done. Are we going to decide who's going to print this program? I'm fine with Kelly doing it. I just think that it, it's um, bad business to not have that done this week. What she planned on doing was printing them, not this week, but the following Friday, having them done. Which would be one week before the show. And that's what I asked her to do, so that we could have time to sell more ads and get the PDFs in. Because How much is she going to charge? Um, I think it's 160 so it's not that much cheaper. <coughs> Just allows a little more time for allows ads. A little more time, and it's going to put Kim on staff overload because the lid is already shaking. I yes, kept I'm on prednisone. I'm wired. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I, I'm not. I'm really vulnerable right now. So. Um, well, in the city, after Tuesday, next Tuesday, I'll be able to help you now too. Yeah. I'm just inundated with packages right now. But. It's just a matter of, like yesterday, between yesterday and today, I got I think three more PDFs, and um, somebody was on vacation. Parkside Creamery came in and paid today, but haven't got the PDF to me yet. The thing is, most of, these are small businesses, and they do everything themselves. It's not like they turn it over to the secretary or corporate has it. And this is a Tommy's pizza. She's still looking for a PDF. She's like, I can't find it on my computer. So you're I'm willing like, to do the program with Kelly? Yeah, Kelly's willing to format it and print it, and they'll be done a week ahead of time. Yeah. And the library has an extended stapler, so you can get into the 5 by 7 and staple it and, you know, fold them. And so she's them. Not, they're not going to come all folded and ready to go? She's going to, oh, she's she going to format and print them. And then we had, going to get together, staple them, and then do the folding on them. 
But if you want to go with the ASAP, so Kim, you know, I mean, I know Kim would feel a lot better if it was done. We can just cut off advertising, and whoever's not paid and doesn't have a PDF in, they're just done. Period. Um, as far as formatting, you know, that would be. I can go through these and give suggestions, and then that would be up to ASAP to do. And that way, it's off my plate. Kim can stop worrying and we can follow. It's up. not about me. We've ran no. as a committee completely Kim, throughout this. Yeah. Directing anything at you, I'm just mm -hmm. saying. You can get it off your plate so you don't have to worry about it. And then that way, who's got the space of where you're going to deal with this building? The library. Do they loan it? Yes. Do they loan it out? Okay. Or we can do it right there on their table. We can do it there. Okay. Do it at the library. <coughs> okay. That's already been approved. So, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with cutting it off and going with Friday with ASAP and, and be done with it. I, I don't have an issue with that. I think. But that, at this point, we really probably do need to try and. And get more sales. And get more sales. Get more so, sales. well, that's the thing is selling the ads is everybody's just so slow to respond. You know, she can have them printed and ready to go on the 21st. She could maybe meet at the library on Saturday the 22nd. She have you gotten them. anything from DeWitt at all? Yes. Yeah, you have? We did. Good. We got, we got some stuff from DeWitt. Good. Yeah. Like the chiropractor's office and read insurance and some of those? Um, a lot of things are just, they're not in the rest. They're just not responding and they're not interested. And it's like, check that, check that. Elaine has a list of like six people to check back with. Um, the dentist over there said no. Um, one of the sub shops is going to give subs, but no ads. Um, she's got, there's a whole list of things. And she's following up with the DeWitt people. She's been all over DeWitt recently. But can Kelly get us the photos for the 21st? No, I haven't asked her to do that and I won't ask her. Is that, what day is that? I'm sorry. So it's on a Friday, it's a week before the building. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's right. Yes. <coughs> We're going to go on a Saturday to do that, are we? I don't know. I don't have anything on that day. <laughs> That's Earth Day. Were you going to plant something on Earth Day? I don't sure know what I'm doing on a Saturday. <clears throat> So how much, how much notice does she need? I mean, she when do we have to get the information to her? She's, I'm waiting to hear today if the township, how they would want to handle the ink and the paper, if they want, mm -hmm. would want to buy it, or would want her to buy it and get reimbursed, or how, how they want to do that. So. No, Didn't okay, you say no. we had $300 from BSNA? Why can't we just use that for the paper and the ink? Well, because I'm depending on Ellie's gift card. Asylum and if you go with mm -hmm. ASAP, you don't have to worry about the pink ink in the paper. Right. right. I'm just, it's only a $40 savings, but it does give us another week. <coughs> so, I mean, I, I can go either way. I don't really care. I'm just a $40 savings if we're buying the ink and the paper. Then it's not a $40 
six feet for yeah. him. I think three hundred is plenty, and if we run out, yeah, people can share. I've been telling a lot of people I that I expect to hand out at least two hundred this year. I didn't say where. I can hand them on the street in front of. Hand them on the concert. <laughs> And it would be nice to follow up with them and give them a thanks and tell them that we gave away 300, you know. So it, it's it's been people that were like, no, go away, or they've been super good people to work with, but then it's been a challenge to get the PDFs. I think with Elvis, money's not a problem. We, it's the PDFs. Right? I think with Elvis, we have two programs like those that we manage to uh, advertise it to show proof that they were in that program. But it wasn't necessary. We just did it because we had to. Okay, I vote for one more week, give me one more week for Kelly and letting her know we need him by Friday the 21st so that we can then go to the library on Saturday the 21st. She needs how much time? Well, she's got these PDFs already, she, and I told her to hold off on formatting anything until we get the green light. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, how many days do we have more to advertise before we have to have that all to her? Um, I can double check with her, but she can start formatting now so that as things come in, she can just add them. Okay. Because the thing is, like, with, with the people that are the one-third page business card, of course, you put, like, them together. And, like, if you put three business cards on the page and then you could run, you know, some blurb on the side, maybe a bio, one of the bios or something, or a blurb about the senior center. You know, depending on what space is there, we can add, you know, services from the senior center even. In any extra area. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you put the particular <coughs> business card right in the middle? You could, or you could switch it over a little bit and then run something long on the side even. In the last program, there was some that kind of stuff was done. So, huh. because there's a lot of blank space with three business cards on, on an average. Would you be contacting the library for either to run, or would you like me to? Um, Elaine already talked to them. I'll have to have her do it, like okay. Kelly's mom. She goes there a lot. I don't go to the library. I do, that's why yeah. I said I could do it with one week. I just feel we could reserve a room, yeah. because they do on Saturday have a lot of activity. Nothing else, we just need some spacing. That's true. That's true. We might be able to round up a few kids to help too. <coughs> and if Kelly fails us, Kim's going to kill all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Give you permission. Kelly. <laughs> been decided yet. Um, typically they don't do that for silent auctions. Um, if we do that, we're going to need more plexiglass frames. Because people probably have them at home. I was going to buy them from um, I have probably a dozen. How many would you need? From a gift card? <coughs> so probably a couple dozen easily. Here's the list know. of the silent auction I items that I have. Maybe they don't need a copy of it. Maybe they don't need to look at it. <coughs> Obviously, it's a partial list because I don't have anything on there that Cindy's accumulated, but that's what I've gotten so far from Dennis, anyway. Where are the two bags that I gave you? The Masters. The one that we have doing detailing. 
Judy Scott, you should get a hold of her and she's in the senior center frequently. And so we that, that I have that for you. Yes, you, know, you may have it. Um those of you but I think they're just standard like this table is here. Okay. I can look. These are six. <coughs> and we have to tell them, at the time we went and looked, they only had two tables with us. Because we said you have to let them know if you want more space. So yeah, I'll go up there and take a look and see what space we have. And who was he, do you recall? John, do you remember who that it's was? John Shet. What was that? John Pichette. He's the um, facilities Pichette. director. <laughs> it's P. It's J O N. His last name is P E C H E T T. The number is six four one six seven two one. His email is J Pichette at bathschools dot net. That phone number is the high school office. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you want me to send you a text with all that? No, I got it. Okay. Cindy, how do you feel about things? Do you want to uh, yeah, anything more that you'd like to add? Are you able to hang out with us or um, where are you at with things? Because we can skip right to silent auction if you'd rather get out of here sooner than later. Yeah, I really, I, I stuff I can get done. Um, I'm in the middle of remodeling my house, kitchen and bathroom. Spring is coming to me. Thursday starts, Thursday and Friday start care clients. So, um, yeah, I'll get with Kelly, um, have her start formatting any additional information that we, we may want to put into the flyer. I'll make sure that I get all that information to Kim. Dennis, do you want to be involved in those emails too? Mm -hmm. okay. Jean, did you want to be in those emails? Okay, I know you don't. Probably won't care for me. For I don't even have an email for you. Yeah. Do you email? Yes. Couldn't find you in there. Right. Okay, so yeah, I'll have her start formatting so we know where we're at. Um, yesterday, I mean, you need a card. Holy smokes. 
<laughs> my email's on the bottom. <coughs> so, yeah, anyway, I'll get working on that, and then um, I will get with uh, Jenna about the gift card. If you decide today there's any additional things you need to pack the baskets off, let me know. Now, where are all the baskets you were going to get? I don't have baskets. I, have. Oh, I thought you said don't buy baskets until you have a bunch. No. I, I've got them. Okay, I'll take one. Oh. Thanks, I brought, well, brought I've boxes, set boxes that, we can that you can just wrap. Yeah. And then you put it in the basket. You just go to the house box because I don't have to. You just put five of them because you have found a basket. Five oh, they donated them? <coughs> that no, it's all on a dollar store. Oh, okay. But so, I'm just, I'm yeah. just trying to save money with yeah. that. Really, I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't care how you do it. It doesn't matter to me. I just the baskets to, to me are a whole lot nicer than a, than a cardboard box, even if you even if you wrap it. I'm not debating that. I you just know, said see, I have can, boxes and I've got. You can them. see better what's in them, but who who gets the baskets then? I do. Oh, all right. I mean, I, just keeping the spending down, and I've been to silent auctions where they do both. If they if they have baskets that were donated, they'll they'll use those. But if they don't, they will fill the cardboard box and wrap it with some wrapping paper, make it really cute, and go from there. And a lot of times they're sturdier, not always, but these are like all Amazon boxes. So I do whatever you want. And if you want to take those baskets back, I will bring mine in. We can set up another date. Well, I was thinking we could put the baby things. So Dollar General donated those. No, I bought them. Okay, so why donating them? I haven't given you it. I haven't given anybody any. I'm any just a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, it's like everybody. Well, that's fine if we have baskets. I mean, use them. I'm just. Yeah, I thought people were bringing baskets. To put baskets together. Right. No, I was doing boxes. And I should have brought mine along. I get a box where I have a box. And it's got like seven or eight Looney Tune type things in it, and put a little tool. If you need a basket, a box will find it. You can see everything. You don't even have to pick it up or move it because you can see every single thing that's in there. Yeah. But plus, we also have a sheet here. Well, it'd be nice to have variety. Do both. I mean, if we've got baskets, use yeah. them. If we don't, we let's. Anyway. And the box really doesn't even have to be wrapped, but uh, since I found that little fellow thing, I So are we doing the silent auction stuff today, or you want to input on how they're grouping them, or where are you at with that, Cindy? There's not a lot of stuff there. It looks like um, two baby baskets and then some other stuff um, as far as for baskets at this point. Um, I do have a bunch of body wash, and I do have men's and women's razors if you want to put together like a personal hygiene thing. I can donate those. I don't have any body lotion at all, but I got a ton of brand new body wash. I do the key finder. I do the key finder thing. I don't know that I need them. That razors and body wash is what I have, but if we want to get, yeah, that's from the dentist office. If we get want to get additional items to top those off, we can do that too. Well, what do you think of the list? Do you think the list looks like we've already got plenty of things to auction off and knowing what you already have or what? Well, the more the merrier, first of all. Um, yeah, I'll have to go through this a little closer and take a real good look at it. Yeah, we could use more stuff easily. I don't want to turn anything away. If we end up getting stuff donated that we don't can't necessarily sell. We can always take it back to the senior center for giveaways for other events or whatever. You know, they would belong to this organization. So if you hosted an event over there, you know, so I, I kind of.
push to keep things separate so it doesn't get confused with tax dollars versus hard work? So, yeah, do we know who uh, donated the quilt, the purple and pink quilt? We do? Can mm -hmm. you tell me? Secretly or publicly? We have. Oh, okay. I just know that um, it was intended for... Um, Oh, Marilyn Washington to, was going to deno donate one. Oh, I and heard I, about that, and she passed away. Yes, yeah, she passed away. And Judy was going to. All right, well, thank you very, very much for taking time to yeah, meet with yeah. us. We appreciate sorry, all of it. You're good. Thanks, Cindy. I appreciate it. Um, Judy was going to talk to Dwight about it, I guess. I have seen her quilts, and she's beautiful. And I have not seen this. Who was it? Pink, I can't recall who it was at the meeting. Oh, was it Dana that said she didn't feel comfortable contacting Dwight seeing that how the be. circumstances were, but Judy said she would call him? I haven't really seen much of Judy lately. Um, is, did we hear anything more on the Afghan that was missing? No. Okay. Taylor sent out an email to everybody and called it a quilt. A quilt. I'm so disappointed with that. I was like, really? And why did you have to act like people it was a police said, report? Well, people said, but, are we missing a quilt, too? Yeah. Missing a lot more. I did say something to her, and I think she was trying to tell me that the dictionary said they were both the same. And I just... You said her name was Martha? No, um, Marilyn. Marilyn, thanks. Washington. <coughs> um, can I just keep going with the meeting so I can shut the recording off so that we can do the silent auction without being on record? Um, the volunteers, um, Jean, I think you said... All right, here's... Um, Here's a list of the kids' names so far for the lanyard. You already gave me one. Oh, I did give you this. Didn't you? I, I've got a list. I want to make the names for her. Is that a different list? Oh, that's right. I gave you just the volunteer list yeah. with their names. Okay, and that, okay. Thank you for reminding me of that. All right. So I still need three more people. We're deciding. Um, Cheryl's not gotten back with me about what she's going to volunteer for, being how we can't do the van. So as a committee, are we just not going to offer shuttle service? I don't think we should. Or are we going to try to get golf carts from Cindy, from Timber Ridge or something? Or, or what? I mean, what's our input on that? Clinton County said they'll do it for four hours. After hours, and it's two hundred sixty dollars to shuttle people from the parking lot. I think the people that would um, need that probably are not going to buy tickets because they're not going to know that it's available. And so we're not doing Clinton County, but golf carts. We're not even bothering with that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I forgot to ask Cindy if she got tablecloths from oh, um, the Bengal Wildlife yeah, Center. Yes, so she, she's still, still working on it. She's still she's working? She's still working on it. Jean, um, what did you find out about the coolers and the ice? They only have one cooler available today. Because that's Tom King Jump Day, and Karen Denuda is using one of them. So we've got a bunch of coolers. Do you want ours? I've got them. Okay. I, I do want one big one. Oh, I feel like I ought to be helping with that stuff. Dennis, what about the cash boxes in the township hall and if they're loaded or not? I'm going to see if I can get to the treasurer because I got to. 
I also need to know if they do a night to talk to. Boss is in there. So as soon as we're done here, I'm going to go to see if they do a night to talk to. Okay. So what about the food trays for the entertainers? You've got that? She told me to tell you it's taken care of. The food too? Because you said last meeting that she was just going to organize the food on the tray, not provide the food. She told me to tell you it's taken care of. It's taken care of. It's taken care of. Thank you, Dennis. Mm -hmm. well, I did the toothbrush, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. Who's going to take care of passing the milk? The toothbrush got lost. The food is the program. Are they going to be just in a bucket for people to get um, food for? Then he says just have them there and whoever, you know, just let them take them. But he's not the only one that has. And it sounds like you're going to get the um, basketball. You're just not sure when? Thank you very much. Yeah. And I will donate it. Jean, you're a trooper. You did pretty good with that. He doesn't want any visit. Oh, they can't take any new people. Okay. Whoops. Missed that. Sorry. Oh. When do you think I should have these volunteers show up for the? We're not wanting them to help shuttle items to the school, so people, um, the ticket takers and stuff. What do you th when do you think I should have them there? Have what? The ticket takers and um, the program holder handout people. What about um, the people that are supposed to help the entertainers for the night? I wonder when oh, they sorry. should be there. Just do errands for them, tell them where the bathrooms are. I don't know, just be accessible. Get them, talk to somebody in between. I don't know. Well, I'm thinking with the guys in the parking lot helping people park, I'm thinking maybe we don't need to show. I'm thinking they're going to be able to organize the parking lot well enough so we can fit a lot more in there. If we just mm -hmm. let people park early and early, you know, they need big spaces and stuff. If we got someone there making sure they keep the spaces tight. Right? Yeah. Um. I think I'm finished. Like I said, we're gonna. What we're trying to do is we're trying to organize a group of people that are interested in looking at other senior centers, like Meridian Township and a couple other ones, because we want to compare it to our center. 
But while we're also there, we want to be able to sell tickets and promote it. And then we want to go to assisted living places, too, and promote tickets. So that's some of the work that's going to be being done these next couple of weeks, along with um, the program is a, a big a critical deadline too. So, um, does anybody else have any input? I know that the budget is a big deal. I just don't feel like we would have sold anything had we not done some advertising. So, I think we gave it our best shot. And if we didn't, we would have said we should have done more, but we gave it our best shot. So my concern is I know there's a whole bunch of advertising. Well, I think we tried to tap into that. I I put it on a lot of community event lists and you know, um, the Advertising campaign was driven by Cindy Cron's business letter. We put out over 200 ads of that. I handed 75 of them out at a meeting that we had here at the township. We've got it posted in a lot of different businesses in the area. Um, I have a whole list of those. I've already given it out once. And um, it's not my expertise, but I think that we did a pretty good job with our exposure. So. What, it, what about the East Lansing Magazine? Has that been published? Have you received it? Did I you? I received it, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I am the contact. Um, we want to go to the Meridian um, Township Senior Center in the, in the next week for sure. Um, besides that, I don't really have anything that I'm aware of. No, I go to Jordan so I I thought I might see, you know, if Jordan can put up a picture on here. They got a book for the All right, well, there's but plenty I don't, of ads right there. I don't want to go to some place that somebody else already. No, I don't believe, I think people have reached out to DeWitt more than they've thought about um, Oakmouth. So. Okay. All right, then I guess we're ready to wrap it up. Any other comments or input or sense of direction? Okay. Thank you.